Hi everyone, Ryan Ritchie again from the digitallifestyle.tv and just a few more things to talk about in this segment regarding the dock if you're new to Mac OS X. So previously we talked about moving the dock, hiding it, and changing its size. You can look for that in a different segment. But I want to point out a couple of the things the dock does and a few ways you can customize the dock. First of all, when we're looking at the dock, it's very subtle. Uh, by the way, this is in OS 10.5 or higher that we're looking at here. But you'll notice there's this little light right in front of iTunes. There's another one over here right in front of Safari. What this is telling you, that, that lets you know which programs are active. And the reason that's, uh, that's important is because unlike Windows, often in Windows when you hit the little X in the program window, the program closes. And that's not always the case with uh, Apple. As a matter of fact, it usually isn't the case. So let me give, show you an example. I'm going to click on iTunes, and my iTunes window opens. Now, if I hit the red button over here, this is not closing the program, this is closing the window. That's one thing to get used to. So I'll click on that, and it's gone. Well, it isn't gone, it's still running though, and I know that because down in my dock, I can see that little light right in front of iTunes. It's particularly tricky because the default background is the star field, and frankly, they look like they're just kind of random stars down there. So that's the first thing. You want to look for that little light to know whether a program is running or not. The other thing is, these icons down here can be completely moved by you. So let's say you use iTunes frequently and maybe it would be easier for you to find it if it was near the front of the dock. So I'm going to pick it up by clicking clicking on it and moving it out of the dock. I'm just going to hold it there for a second. This, you still have the mouse held down. You'll see that little cloud next to it. We'll get to that in a moment. I'm going to move it over here and put it in between Mail and Safari. As I bring it down, you'll see that those two programs move out of the way. Let me show you again to make room for it. And then I just let go of my mouse and iTunes has a new name at home on the dock. So maybe there's a program here I don't use very often, perhaps GarageBand, for example, or iWeb. If I want to get rid of this, again, I just click on it, pull it out, and let go of the mouse. That little cloud tells me it's going to whoosh, and there it is. It's gone. Program's not gone, just the shortcut to it that was down in the dock. Now, one thing about moving these around, we're doing it kind of slowly here so you can get a feel for it. If you click and hold too long on one of these icons, you'll get uh, a list of options rather than being able to move it. So you want to be click and drag, and then you can move it elsewhere, or just let go of it out there, and it'll disappear. Conversely, you can move folders and files down into the dock. This little divider over here, we talked about that being able to allow you to resize the dock previously. But on the right-hand side of this, these are folders. And so I can take a folder. I'm just going to take this. Uh, let's take the Applications folder. And I'm just going to drag it down here. And you'll notice room is made for it. And I can put it in there. And again, I can drag it out. And poof, it's gone. But I didn't get rid of all my applications. I just got rid of that shortcut that was down in the dock. And finally, we also have down here the trash can. And this, of course, is like the recycling bin for those of you coming from Windows. And to put something in the trash, we just drag and drop it. So I've got these two files up here from a previous lesson. I'm just going to select them. And the way I did that, I took my mouse, held down my mouse button, the left mouse button, for those of you using a two-button mouse from your Windows days, perhaps. Uh, and we're going to select by dragging home page and test document. I'm going to take those two files now that they're selected, click and drag them down here and drop them into the trash can. And the trash can fills with paper, very clever, to let me know something's in there. And now if I just click and hold on that, I get the empty trash option. Click on that. I'll get this dialog box making sure that's what I want to do. That should make you feel a little bit like you're back in Windows. And I'll click on OK. And you'll notice now the trash can is empty and those files are gone. So that's just a basic primer of some of the additional features and options with the dock in Mac OS X.